All right, even everyone, we are live, and the gaffer of Northley, that promotion winning manager Eddie Udiambo, is going to be joining me very, very shortly. Where we're going to be talking about obviously Northley and this magical season that's just happened. Um, this is very much take two at the moment because I know we just had some sort of te technical difficulties getting joined, as sometimes this happens. But we're going to crack on with the show. Uh, if you can't stay and watch the whole thing, please don't panic because this will be reshared later tonight and obviously in the morning as well so with eddie he says hopefully any second now and there we go there we go you see me gaffer I can. I'll just get you the right way. That's it. Now we can see you. Nice man. How are you doing this Monday? I am well. I'm very well. Thank you. Good. Can you hear me, can you hear me loud and clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm all um, good. Yeah, it's... Um, I just sort of said a couple of minutes ago to everyone, Eddie, it's crazy to think that literally seven, only seven days ago, it was very much party mode. Literally seven days. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much continued with the lads, I think, as well. So. <laughs> when, when will it end? <laughs> Definitely one of them. Question, Eddie. Have you got that winner's medal? I, I, I do. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to get it now. Do you want me, I'll have to oh, no, no, don't panic. No, don't panic. It's just if you had it close to hand, I was going to say, you know what, grab it. It'd be nice to show it, but don't panic. Right. Let's look back then to that week ago, Eddie, first of all, because really, see, that, that, that's the story, isn't it? Um, hmm. So looking back, the playoff final reaction, talk us through the, the story. So by that, I mean sort of where you was at at the start of the season, obviously going through to that news um, from the Southern League and the FA, um, obviously, that well in Garden City and Northley getting into the playoffs. It probably started in my back garden um, just over a year ago. Um, me, Craig and Lex met in, in my back garden and it was locked down, so we were outside and the weather wasn't great. I remember that. And um, we just we were just talking about football, about North Lee. Um, mm. And that's probably where it all started. Um, I was coming to the end of playing. Uh, I knew that because I kept getting yellow cards and I, I, <laughs> I don't think I got booked until I was about <laughs> into my early 30s. And after that, it was just a weekly occurrence. So I knew that it was time, uh, it was coming to an end for me playing wise. And I'd had experiences of coaching. Um, uh, mostly with with uh, in terms of first team football with Banbury, and it was it, the conversation was just about our ideas on on football, our ideas on mm. on on management and and things like that, and it, and it progressed. That conversation progressed for a few months, and there was a point where where Craig said he envisaged passing it on to to me and Lex, and um, that conversation developed again. And then when lockdown hit and the season curtailed, it was at that point where the even more talks uh, continued and um, uh, Craig, uh, uh, we, uh, the collective decision that I'll become the manager and, 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 it, and it goes on from there. And then, and then the, the, new, the, the follow meetings on, ensued after that where I was getting everybody around the table and we were doing that... Um, every six weeks basically or, or, or there or thereabouts and and in that time so before pre season way before pre season I got ever ever around the table and said, right, this is what I feel like we should do. This is what I want to do. Yeah. What's the input around around the table? I got that, uh, took all that on board and then and then came up with a plan from there. Cool. Um, and obviously it was a very successful season. Obviously the last game of the season what was said by everyone at the conclusion of that Colney Heath game away? Not much, to be honest. Okay. Not much. It was 
It was too uh, hard, wasn't it? It was disappointment. It was, it was yeah. disappointment. It was deje dejection. Um, it was a lot of wounded souls in there. And I, I even said, whatever I say now probably isn't going to resonate with you guys too much. Um, mm. So it was probably, I said my bit before the game, I think. I, I gave everyone a bit of, every, I gave everyone a card and, and said what their value was to the squad, what their, for me, their moment of the season. Um, and that did a lot of good because we lost the game, obviously, I think. Um, but I said that I, it was important that I said that because if we win, we'd have been elated. It would have been, it would have been, it would have been amazing. And if we lost, those words wouldn't have been able to come to the forefront of the mind. So uh, it was important that uh, the players had my gratitude and thanks beforehand because whatever happened at that point, we, we had to be proud. Absolutely. And then, obviously, I, I was at... Um... Bedford Town's final game against Aylesbury that Saturday. I remember following the game on Twitter and then messaging Craig um, that evening. And then literally, I remember being at home and getting a phone call from him very early, fairly early in the morning. Um, and I thought he was winding me up. <laughs> when he turned around and said, um, Carl, we're in the playoffs. I thought, what are you all about? What are you all about? He's like, no, 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 serious. We are. We're in the playoffs. I said, oh, bloody hell, Craig. He said, but obviously let me um, obviously speak to all the boys and that before we put anything online. Um, so when you did eventually hear, Eddie, talk us through that. How, you know, where was you? When was it? What did you, what came out of your mouth? Uh, please be clean. Is it before nine o'clock? <laughs> um, like I said, I, I was driving and going up to a, a, a family, a family do uh, having food. And it was um, my, my father-in-law, he said, who, who read it out on on Twitter? Oh, oh no! So he, that, was, that was the first time I I, I knew about it. Um, I could obviously hear right. the buzz in in the in the car compartment, but I uh, I was I was I was blanking it to be honest. And then he read it, and I thought, okay, I, I, I thought he was joking. Um, and it was at that point uh, it, it, it all came together. I saw the the lads had all found out. Craig had given me a million missed calls. Um, Lex had given me a missed call, um, and it, it was it was at that point. It was a good meal at that point. It, 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 what could have been a because yeah, my mind was elsewhere, and then, and then having the meal was it, it tasted a bit nicer. Absolutely. Um, it's, obviously, there's loads of connotations, and obviously, there's loads of factors into this. But because I know, I know how your brain works, Eddie. So that Colney Heath disappointment. That surely has had a big, big factor in the fact that the boys did what they did in the semi-final and the final. Would that be fair to say? Very fair. It it gave us a second chance, didn't it? And mm. you, you can't give them up if they're if you're being gifted a, a chance like that. And that definitely had an impact. It definitely um, had a part to play in, in the in the two following results we had because up until that point, we had never beaten the team above us in the league. Yeah. So in the league, we had mm -hmm. what did happen though. We had better results the second time round. So the first time against Bedford, we got we got beat by four. Um, against Burko, we got beat by one. Against Dunstable, we got beat by one. Against Welling, we got beat by two. Um, and it was only Ware who we drew against. The second time round was a better result every time. So Bedford, we drew. Dunstable, mm -hmm. they equalised last kick of the game. Um, Burko, we drew. And, and so it was an improvement from the previous game because there was a little bit more belief there. And after every single one of those fixtures, we had even more belief. And we said, uh, and, and it was clear, we said, at some point, we're going to have to beat teams above us. And it just happened, the first time it had to be, happened to be in the playoffs. And it's easy, it's easy for us to say, because, you know, boys have gone up, you've done the job, you've got that playoff trophy. Um, but, I mean, man, the semi-final and final performance, it does not get better than that, I think, from what we, what we saw, really. Um, what, for you, were the key moments in both those games? Well, first off, I don't know if we've got the trophy yet, because the trophy we're presented with on the day, I'm told, is not the correct trophy. So yeah, no comment. We've, no got a bringer, we've got a bringer for a trophy and hopefully um, the, the real one can come to come to as soon as possible. 
Um, the key moments for the game were the equalisers in both games, I think. Um, because against Burko, their celebrations gave us time to yeah. regroup. We, mm -hmm. There was all sorts happening. Everybody's on the pitch. In all that time, we spoke. So while everyone else is celebrating and everything's happening, we, we, we were speaking, we were having a, a team talk and organising what we were going to do next. And every single thing that we said came to fruition. We, we said, we're going to go forward. We're going to load the box. We're going to um, put pressure back on them. We're going to be fitter and stronger than them. And that's probably what, what saw us through against uh, Burko. Against uh, Dunstable, again, was the equaliser. Um, it was such a comfortable 2-0. I think it's fair to say that, that we were so much the, the, the mm -hmm. control of the game up until, yeah. up until they scored their first one and then the second one soon after. Um, and I still believe that after today was the first time I watched it back. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, because uh, I normally get to Nashi's goal and just rewind it and rewind it up because <laughs> it was so good. But um, again, again, their equaliser, there's pandemonium going on, all sorts mm. going on. Mm. We stayed calm. We spoke, whether I was speaking to the staff or speaking to the players, um, we were able to just uh, just calm down. And, and say what's going to happen next. And I remember distinctly uh, me and Lance were talking, he's at the halfway and I said, go forward, go forward, go forward. From the centre, we pass it forward, we get in behind them, we get in behind them. And that, that to me, felt like it, it broke them a bit because they're thinking, hang on, you lot should be hanging on here. And, and we, had a, we had a go. Absolutely. Um, I did promise, it, I did say to him, I would plug, um, plug him. So... Obviously, the guy who's been doing a bit for us recently um, at the club, Eddie, uh, Glenn Alcock, photographer, absolute world class. If you have not seen the game, the photos Glenn took of that final and equally the semi-final show you everything. The emotions of the fans, the players, everything. So if you haven't seen that photo album, do um, have a look at Glenn Alcock on Twitter and follow his Flickr albums because they are absolutely class. So, Eddie, the party after. Obviously, I know, I know you had a few. Uh, I know Ben Brown had more than a few. Um, talk us through the, those celebrations, because it was such an unreal experience, wasn't it? It was. It was brilliant. The, the, coach, uh, the coach home was, was lively. Um, no, it started off in the change room, actually, um, because uh, where did it start? Um, it started at Burke Hampstead, the semi the semi-final in the changing room yeah. and that one there was a, a couple of lads who weren't there who were important to us and and um getting them on the on the facetime in the changing room was 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 brilliant and on the coach on the way back from uh from uh from where was yeah it was it was it was special it was a, it was a great place to be the clubhouse afterwards was a great place to be yeah. Yeah. work the next day wasn't such a great place to be no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> have you? Um, he's going to kill me for saying this, but obviously, I don't think probably any of us have seen um, Dory, um, Craig Dory, so emotional, have we? Apart from that day, that, that meant everything to him as well, didn't it? No, we haven't, and that's the that's the the, the brilliant part of it. You're, you're seeing uh, the reaction of people, what it does to people, what it means to to people. And the, the responsibility you carry when you're um, responsible for people, responsible for the, the team and the players, that's, uh, that probably makes it uh, worthwhile. And it, it was, yeah, it was, it, was, it was great to give that feeling to, to, to the club. That's fun. If you to look back, Eddie, over the whole season, you look at it in different ways. Um, it could even be in terms of your own management. What for you? Just pick three favourite moment moments from the season. What would you choose? Um, first day of pre-season. Okay. That's, yeah, that's significant um, because you're. Is that is that because of the bonding and doing it all again and? Because that's where it starts, and you you don't yeah. at that point you don't know you don't know what's going to happen next, what twists and turns they're going to be, how many of that squad's going to be with you. Um, and 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 not. Uh, I look back at uh, looking back today at the, the starting squad compared to what the squad is now, and and it looks uh, uh, quite different. But 
it's brilliant to have so many who were there on the first day and still there now because that shows mm-hmm. either you believe in them or they believe in you and that's uh that's a that's a i know it's a powerful thing isn't it when when people have have decided to buy into what you want to do uh so that's pop so yeah so that'll be that'll be one first day of pre-season first day of school is, is, is always good um there was um I, I, I said a couple of bits in a change room, you see, and I don't want to say them here because I think they're personal to the team. And, That's fair enough. And they're per- personal to uh, to a couple of play a couple of players specifically who I pointed out. So there was a, a couple of real poignant moments in the season where players are looking out for each other, and and that's when I thought we had a chance. And it wasn't it wasn't football related at all. And 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 I just thought, oh, okay, we got a chance here if, if players are doing that for each other. Um, there was a probably, you know, there's a result which still haunts me actually, which was probably significant. Um, uh, Kidlington away, mm-hmm. where we, do you know, what, actually, I'm, a, a different one haunts me even more. Um, Waltham Abbey at home, and we lost three 0 and, yes. and we got, uh, and we, we were just terrible. I was terrible. I made shocking decisions. Um, and it fed through the team, and we were just uh, we were absolutely abysmal, and that became the, the party line. We 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 don't get Waltham Abbey, we don't get Waltham Abbey, and that was that's uh, and funny enough, I I've become really friendly with uh, with Spence there, the manager, and uh, I don't think he knows how much that <laughs> result actually hurt me, but um, he's he, he's made me a better manager, and I think I I, I got mm-hmm. better after that, and I think the team got better after that, so that's probably a second one. Um, and then a third moment, um, the Dunstable game where we drew to all, where we went down, we went down to 10 men, losing 1-0, went down to 10 men and we were outstanding. We were mm. so good. We went, we went tuning it up. Unfortunately, conceded the last minute goal, last second goal. Um, but it was then in the change rooms where, you know, you, you almost have that tangible like we're gonna we're gonna get to the playoffs, boys, no matter what. And uh, so those were those are yeah really those are matches which were significant. I think. Well said. Thanks for that, Eddie. So you mentioned them on um, well, it was Saturday. It's only two nights ago. Um, but let's let's talk about it. So the North Lee fans, along with the club officials, they are a very very loyal bunch. They travel home and away, and they do so so much behind the scenes. Um, for those of you that perhaps don't know, what would you like to share with everyone about, um, you know, if, uh, perhaps a few in particular? A few North Lee fans? Yeah, uh, and the club officials as well. The club officials, yeah. Um, so it's, well, first of all, they do your heading because they're right next to the dugout. So they, they tell you what to do, tell you how to do your job. So that's, uh, that's always good. But um, they have, the ones who you, know, you get to know by, uh, by face and get to know by first name basis. And do you know what? I, I, I'm only joking when I say they do your head in because they don't. Because whatever the result, they're there in the bar, they're offering you a drink, they're saying, oh, hard luck today or well done today. And it's those little interactions that you have which, bring, which keep things normal. And, you're, and, you're, and they, they balance you out and mean you don't get too happy or too sad uh, despite the result and basically you, you don't let the football spoil a good day out when you're at North Lee because the, 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 that's what people want and they want to enjoy it and the good results are, are, are a bonus of having good people around um, and then if you, you talk sp- specifically about people who, who have helped me you, uh, well I'll tell you what I didn't say at this presentation which I was kicking myself for afterwards is Given a bit of acknowledgement to 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 Taco and Sully, who do the other teams on on the night, the the Dev yeah, Squad yeah, no, and the uh, and the uh, and the Vets team, because being a part time manager is an absolute graft, and to, to the amount of time you have to to give up, and uh, mm. it it can be it can be it can make some days really really long, especially in in the winter, and especially when you're ships at night at home and stuff like that. So I've got to uh, give my 
I know my recognition and, and 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 thanks to them guys as well because I've spoken to them over the over the season and we kept each other sane at times. And and then you get people like uh, Mark Bosley who, who's who's become uh, like my right hand man in terms of making sure I'm at the right place at the right time, basically. And and, and yeah, so there's 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 there, there's a few who, who are, if I keep saying names, I'll offend someone by not saying them. But um, uh, even the it's the it's the ones that it's funny. I saw Craig's wife and said after the game, I said you can have him back for a little while now. <laughs> and that goes that goes for he'll say the same to to my wife, and that goes yeah. to, to the same to to uh, to Mac's wife Stacy. So um, and 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 for Lex as well, he's got a tribe at home. <laughs> he's got it's the, the season's yes. coming. Up. He's got yeah. Season's come at the right time for for quite a few of us, I think. To see the end nice. of the season come at the right time. Thanks, Eddie. So you mentioned it very quickly. Let's talk about it. And uh, the, the awards night Saturday was it was a nice event, wasn't it? It was a good vibe, with loads of people there, um, and obviously full plenty of awards, wasn't there? Yeah, there's loads of awards. I think we were making them up by the end. Just to, just. To... <laughs> It was no, it was it was really good, and you, you saw the way it was done. It was done uh, very casually, very very good humoured, uh, and with some with some uh, important moments as well, which uh, is probably the, the, the it's the way I like things done, and it, and it was probably a staple of what we've been like. Um, I think all the recipients were deserving. I think they were definitely deserving. Um, Owen needs recognition for being for being one of the youngest players ever to represent Northley. Um, Nashi needs praise for not only making himself better but making other people better. Um, Luke as skipper uh, gets the respect from from players not just because of his character, um, probably because he hasn't got me more than anyone else, and I think the players love that. Um, mm. And 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 Brownie's been uh, uh, reached levels which um, are ex exceedingly high all season. So, really, yeah, all deserving winners. And there's a couple of there who have been unfortunate to miss out. And you think of their absolutely, absolutely. Roger James, uh, yeah. uh, Northy, um, yeah, uh, and and Nemi, of course, uh, won his won his awards. Uh, like supporters awards, a good one to win because that shows people would pay to watch you play. And 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 that's and so he's a deserved winner of that as well. I'm glad I'm glad you said that about those um, who didn't come away with an award because there are more even more than a handful um, who had such such good seasons, wasn't there? So um, yeah, we can't forget them because you know, without them, this season wouldn't have happened. So it's as simple as that. Yeah, and it's not just and it's the short impacts as well. This, the people we have people at different stages. Andy Gunn yeah. came in late. What an impact he's had. Uh, Michael Hopkins, what an impact he's had. Yeah. Uh, Connor McDonough, he's still one yeah, of the. We can't, we the cannot forget one of the, Connor. What a he's one of the league's top. Yeah, one of the top scores in the league, despite being with us for for six weeks. Um, and, and and there's Morgan. Morgan was a makeshift number nine for 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 yeah. his period of time and done outstanding for us. And and so he deserved to get some medal at the end of it. So it's yeah, so it's, it's been an effort from so many people, and they made each other winners, which is which is super. Thanks, Eddie. So for you, now you've had that that week since the last game uh, and a bit of fun in between. Hmm. What actually have been the, the real challenges of managing, which actually has been a very successful team? You know, we can't play it down. This is historic. This is the greatest team Northley have ever had. Surely there's been some challenges along the way, or has there not? Yeah, definitely. Uh, starting off with me having to know, have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> because uh, essentially I didn't and made it up. Um, mm -hmm. I was lucky a lot of times rather than good. That makes a difference. Um, but I, I also, again, that's slightly tongue in cheek because I actually completely believe it in. I, I keep saying to to players, and again, Luke takes a mick out of me, but I say, make sure that we are unapologetically us. I'm going to be myself. 
mm. to and and I believe in that and I've got to um, hold that resolve. So if things are going badly, I know I'm going to revert to being myself, and that's it. And that's the end of it. There won't be another way. And um, there's flex in that. There's adjustment in that. There's listening to other people in that. And that's why I have Lex, Chrissy, Woodley, Owen, uh, Connor, Maka, um, Craig. That's why I have them because it, it, I'm not I'm not so stubborn, but um, I believe in myself. So so that's probably what I, I I would always fall back on. Cool. And what what would you like to say or to people who perhaps? Obviously, you don't hear the conversations that you have with Lex, Maka, obviously Chrissy um, and Dory about that management team that you've assembled. Um, it's much like our like our like our team. A few a few rejects, a few um, misfits. Um, it's but it's it's people who who work hard and want and and will sacrifice a bit themselves to help other people. That's um. That's what uh, the makeup of our squad is, I think. Um, uh, Woodley has done it outstanding as well because, like I say, he, he's fresh out of being a player. Um, still had aspirations yeah. to, to play more than what he did this season. He was disappointed that he didn't play more. Um, but his roles, it's a role I've had previously, so I really wanted someone in that position. And, um, yeah, he's took to like a duck to water and, 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 and always tried to improve. Um uh, Maka stabilizes things and 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 keeps things realistic and and practical and and he's he's just solid. He's just solid as a person. Um, uh, uh, Chrissy. Um, so his his whole remit, him the reason for Chrissy being there is to uh, is to quality assure what we do because he's much more experienced. He's um, got hundreds of hours. He's got his ten thousand hours of, of coaching. He's He's super qualified. I don't think you'll find a more qualified person at the level. Um, so I needed him there to, to challenge me, to have confrontational conversations with me in front of the coaches so they can understand what I want and, ha mm. and, and it's okay to, to, to challenge me and, 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 and then I can hold up a mirror and, and justify what we're, what we're doing and, and, and decisions which are made. So that, that was important. So Chris was really important for that. Um, and then uh, Connor, uh, our young analyst, he, he's he's come in absolutely raw from anywhere, um, and we over time developed a, a process which works or which has, has works for us anyway. Um, and what I don't want him to do is think because um, he's got aspirations to do whatever he wants in the game. So he we we always talk about what he can what he can do to further himself. And I, I don't, and that's what I think for everybody who joins us, what can you do for yourself? Because ultimately that, that will help us. I don't want to hold anybody back. And, and, and him being he, so young, he, he, yeah, he's sky's the limit. And then you've got Owen, Owen, Owen Dorr. So he's, he's staff, he's a player. He's, um, and like I said, he's going to be a future player for North Lee. Um, uh, but equally, he's uh, in terms of setting the boys up. He's he's and setting up us for, for match days and trainings. He, he's vital to that as well. And then you have got Craig, who's in he's in your ear. Who, as I say, uh, Craig being the old uh, the uh, the, the previous manager, um, he must find it hard to stay away from the dugout. He must do because when when you start managing what I found you get a bug it's like a bug and you get it and and mm -hmm. you go towards it so for him to keep his distance like he has done this season um is a huge credit to him and it's allowed me to to uh, be myself but equally uh, he's probably played me off well because I I call him so often and uh, <laughs> and he knows and he kind of knows everything which is happening so it will it works out cool so off season that's where we are now. So um, the boys have got a bit of a trip coming up, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Um, they they deserve it. They um, it's not quite the best one. The best one I've ever been on end of season. Do I remember? It was at, it was at Stevenage and we got to Vegas. All expenses. Um, it's Ooh. not quite. It's not quite. Yeah, it's not quite that. <laughs> it's not quite that. <laughs> 
boys will enjoy it none the same. So where, 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 is it Somerset you're going? Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the Sonny Butlins. My head. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, got a, it's a nice beach there and you get good cider. So job done. You'll be happy. No, boys, uh, boys will enjoy it. They'll have a good go. Yeah, well. exactly. exactly. Um, so season ahead is a big, big one. So when is the real work going to start? Uh, I do need a holiday. I, I will. Do you know what? I'll probably set things up and then go on holiday. Um, okay. Just so I'm uh, uh, ahead of the game a little bit. So pre-season's bu- uh, planned in already. That's all taken care of. Um, okay. Uh, in terms of, in terms of the, the obvious thing, the, the, the elephant in the room is, is going to be players. Yes. Canadian players. So that's yeah. going to be, that's going to be, um, priority retaining players and then because if you keep good players you can attract good players and and, and that will happen but uh, I've, I've I've told the players to enjoy themselves first and foremost we'll we'll meet up again tomorrow we've been um the Hollybush and Whitney has been really really kind and, and and offered us a meal so we'll go and do that again I've told the players to meal kit for as long as they can so do right. they'll, they'll do that and all those discussions will, will happen in good time to benefit the player, to benefit the club. Love it. And that is a great way, I think, to wrap this up, Eddie. Because um, I'm, I'm mindful. It has been 30 minutes. Um, so thank you so much, Eddie, for giving up your time again, um, sort of midweek, um, to do this. But do enjoy the off-season. There is obviously so much excitement and so much to come. Um, and we probably need to finish by saying up the village and the millers are going up. Yeah, we will do. We will do. I've got to shout out someone's uh, shout out Shezza, my biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Also, my family there. So, uh, I, I Love it. it. Uh, but equally to you, Carl, you've been uh, superb for, for the club in terms of uh, promoting North Lee. Like you say, this, this small little village club, you've got more followers on socials than there is people in North Lee at the moment. Um, it's 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 been a it's been a bit of a game changer for us in terms of the profile. It's annoyingly also put our players on the map, which I, I don't like because <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> so, yeah, I can't I can't thank you for that. But uh, in terms of your engagement with the players and and support for us, it's been it's been superb and, it, and it's been right. true, and we thank you uh, for pleasure. it. Pleasure, pleasure. It's uh, you know it's a very much a team effort because obviously I know. Um, Sam and Bruce have done a lot of the media the last two years. We've now, very fortunate, have Glenn do some photos for us. Um, but a big, big thank you, obviously, from, from me as well, um, Eddie, to you, the management team and all the players for sort of being on board of all of this because I, I, I know that these sorts of things, they do have a psychological um, impact on the players. So it's... Um, there you go, you made the... Uh... Made me offend people there. So Sam and Bruce, I haven't spoken about yet. Ant and Deck, as I call them, they've been they've, <laughs> they've been with us, they've been with us the whole time as well. They were back yeah. there back in the day when I was um, getting people around the around the table and 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 talking about stuff. I I don't know if they believed what I was saying or whether they even <laughs> what they thought what they were coming into. But um, it's it's uh, hopefully been worth it for them as well. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Big thanks for them. Cool, nice one. Right, let you enjoy what's left of this Monday night, but we'll, um, you and I will talk soon. But have a nice time away, Eddie. I will do. Thank you very much. All right, pleasure. Right, bye, everyone. Thank you. Um, I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers.